Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials. UGI customers will see their natural gas bills go up next month. Meanwhile, school officials want people to know that kitty litter rumor isn't true. Bed Bath & Beyond confirmed that one of its locations in Pennsylvania will be closed down. And a museum proclaims 2022 is a year you can really sink your teeth into. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. Thanks to rate hikes, the average UGI bill went up by about 7.4% on June 1st and 7.6% on September 1st, reports Lehigh Valley Live. And since the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission approved yet another rate hike last week, UGI customers will now see their natural gas bills go up by roughly 6.2% between October 29th and October of next year. This bump is actually lower than what UGI initially requested, which was a nearly 10% increase. On average, people can expect their heating bills to go up by $4.44. UGI is projecting another increase on December 1st. It was rumored that schools in the Homer Center School District had put kitty litter boxes in bathrooms to accommodate students who identified as cats, reports Pittsburgh's Action News 4. School officials would like everyone to know that, similar to a separate hoax that took place at a New York school, those claims are not true. The principals of Homer Center High and Elementary School sent out letters to parents last week in response to a Facebook post that started this rumor, as well as another one saying how students who identified as dogs were being led around on leashes. Reads the letter, quote, We look forward to placing these rumors to rest and moving our focus to helping every student reach their full potential. Bed Bath & Beyond revealed last month that it intends to shut down about 150 of its lower-producing stores around the country, states Penn Live. The Bed Bath & Beyond in Lower Marion Township has been confirmed to be one of these stores. The location was included on a list of just 56 store closures released by the company last week. The date of its closing has yet to be announced. The Mütter Museum in Philadelphia has deemed 2022 as the Year of Dracula, says Penn Live. It's been 125 years since Bram Stoker's famous novel about the blood-sucking count was first published, and the museum would like to recognize this anniversary with a series of vampire-esque events. This includes a new exhibit exploring science of vampirism in corpses, a dramatic reading of Dracula in a graveyard, and vampire-themed movie nights. For more information, click on the link in this podcast's related article, and don't forget to eat a ton of garlic before you attend, just in case. That wraps up today's episode. For even more news, drop by penlive.com. And please don't forget to rate this podcast and to share it around with family and friends. Thanks ahead of time. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back again tomorrow for some more of Today in a PA. Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials.